Just Chanel here. Hey guys, it's Just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. We are on day two of counting down the days until my birthday. It's my golden year. I'm turning 28 on June 28th. So I'm getting my day started. Of course, I am drinking Love Thy Liver. I absolutely love this mug. It's from a black owned business. It's so chic. It says do you on the other side. Um, so I'll definitely leave the link to this down in the description box so you guys can check it out as well. You know, add to your mug collection. But today, this morning, I wanted to share with you all my She Reads Truth study book. I mentioned the app yesterday. This is what it looks like up close. This is the Old Testament study book. It's super thick. This is the thickest book I've received from them. I've had a subscription with She Reads Truth since the beginning of the year. And so I mentioned yesterday that I like to wake up and go straight to the app read the scripture for the day. Um, we've already read Genesis, Exodus, and then today Leviticus. There's reflection questions, sometimes there's devotionals, and then I'm able to connect with the She Reads Truth community through the app. But at nighttime, I love using these study books, and I know a lot of the vlogs won't um, fall like after dark because I try to get them edited and uploaded for you all on the day of. So I wanted to make sure I share this with you all. The books are beautifully designed. I absolutely love this one because one, it's huge. Two, um, there's a ton of different colors. So a lot of the times that they just stick with like one colorway. But I think because we'll be in this book for so long, it's like a seven week study, just the Old Testament they've made it to where like each week is a different color which is really cool and then there's recipes in this one and y'all know how much i love to cook i know for sure i am going to share some of these on my channel we have a pineapple orange punch on here a peach pesto flatbread and black fish tacos looks so good one of the other things i love about she reads truth my she reads truth subscription is the studies always start on a Monday. So Monday through Friday is when you're diving deep into scripture. Um, you're, there's also like charts and maps and there's all types of things in these books, y'all. Okay, perfect example. Like what even is this? This is on page 194, okay? Like the book is so beautifully structured and I'm such a structured person. So there's so many different resources within the actual study books. The day six, they designate as a grace day. And I think this is so cool. It's something I fell in love with when I first um, started my subscription with She Reads truth because a lot of the times we're extending grace to other people but we don't extend grace to ourselves time goes okay it comes it goes life comes at you fast girl so sometimes i'm not able to complete a study or and i miss days sometimes and so having a grace day which always falls on a saturday is something that i absolutely love within this she reads truth community um because it's just like you know what just how i extend grace to other people i need to extend that same grace to myself so definitely check this out i will leave just the website down in the description box this isn't sponsored i don't have any special coupon code or anything but it's definitely something that helps me set the tone for my day and also in my day on a positive note one last thing i'd like to mention each subscription comes with a card so it tells you what the next few studies will be so if you all would like to connect on the app and start the old testament and then go into the new testament you can always get your subscription later the next two studies is deuteronomy and hosea so yeah let me know if y'all have any questions down in the comments i'll definitely leave the link for these study materials in the description box for y'all to check out. They have a lot of different actual Bible book studies as well as like topic studies. Um, so there's a big variety. They have flashcards with scriptures like scripture memorization cards. Um, and I know they have like some other accessories coming out. They have calendars, things like that. So yeah, definitely check out She Reads Truth. I'm gonna finish up my tea and then you guys can see my her, okay? Um, I took the braids out, finally. It took me like all night, but I'm going to rinse my hair really well in some hot water and then put my Olaplex on and let that sit for about an hour while I do my little morning routine of like updating the website, drafting emails and all that jazz. So let's go ahead and get to it.
when you apply the Olaplex, you um, apply it on damp, dirty hair. It's not supposed to be like freshly shampooed hair. My hair definitely grew a bit. So I'm just gonna use a little bit. This bottle is $28, it's small, but I get five uses out of it. So it's definitely worth the money. And if you have no idea what Olaplex is, it's a bond builder. So it's the only, I believe, bond builder on the market actually. Um, and so this actually truly repairs your hair. Like when you buy reparative hair care products, um, usually they're just packed with moisture and like ingredients that are going to technically moisturize your hair more or give your hair some type of protein to then kind of do things on its own like act like hair is supposed to act in a healthy state but with olaplex it the product itself actually helps like actually repairs your hair it doesn't aid in the repairing of your hair does that make sense hopefully that makes sense so I like to put it on my ends and just all over. I don't comb it through or anything, especially now because I didn't detangle my hair. I have a bad habit of doing this when I take out braids. <laughs> I like do not detangle my hair so there's literally, like you know your hair sheds every day, but when it's in protective style styles, you're not really getting as much shedding. So I'm sure when I detangle, I have quite a bit of shedding, but that is completely normal. It's definitely like, long strands it's not breaking off so completely normal and I'm actually really healthy with I mean happy with how my hair feels it's so soft and it seems like I really did a good job taking care of it while it was in those braids so you only have to leave the Olaplex on for 10 minutes um, I'm gonna leave mine on for about an hour or so while I start working Just finished up some cardio. I'm about to head to the steam room so I can steam my hair. I wash my hair. The deep conditioner has been sitting in there for a while. And y'all know steaming your hair, especially when the conditioner is in there, is really great for hair growth and it helps just your deep conditioner penetrate into your hair follicles and your hair shafts um, a little bit more. So um, yeah, that's the next thing on my to-do list. I also wanted to share this little wristlet with y'all. So I brought this to the gym for the first time today and I purchased this from Base. It's so cute, it's so convenient. Um, so it's on this like super thick rope and then there's three different pouches that come with it. I love that it's like two different colors, black and beige because it goes with everything. I have my phones in this larger pouch, uh, my keys in here and then like some cash, my ID and it even comes with a little scrunchie. So if you work out a lot or you like to go, you know, running, biking, um, run errands, like the farmer's market and stuff, I think that this is super cute, especially if you're like me and you wear a lot of like lounge wear and athletic wear during the week, during the day. Um, when you're running errands and that's bomb.com their moves collection that they just came out with they have a lot of like everyday lifestyle bags and i absolutely love base for my leisure luggage so yeah i definitely say check them out i don't have a code or anything this isn't sponsored purchased it with my own money but i'm gonna keep using this so y'all will be seeing it in the vlogs i also of course have some water because of going to the steam room you need to stay super hydrated just trying to remove all these toxins girl and detox the proper way Let me tell y'all, so my muscles were so sore from working out. I did a full body workout 
two days ago, like really heavy weights and my body was really sore and I can like move. I mean, it's still sore. Like, ooh, child, my chest and my um, biceps, but this makes it feel so much better. So that way I'm not taking like long breaks in between lifting weights. I feel like tomorrow I can definitely do another weightlifting workout for sure. And you can see I put my hair in these little twists because girl, it was all over the place. <laughs> time for a shower <laughs> um oh my goodness i need to do this every single day like what do y'all really want to see in the vlogs like out of everything lifestyle what do you want to see most leave that down in the comments for me like your top thing don't list things because i know y'all want to see everything what do you enjoy seeing most in the vlogs let me know cooking workouts uh, running errands, entrepreneurship, day in the life type of vibes, uh, out with my friends. I'm trying to think of what else. What else do I do? Traveling. What y'all want to see? <laughs> okay, seriously, I'm like dripping. Like I can't even move. <laughs> my hair feels so good. This is my hair with absolutely no product on it. It's so fluffy and soft. That deep conditioner, literally works wonders i am going to put a little leave-in conditioner i love using a pattern i need to buy like i think this may come in a pump size i should have got some at ulta yesterday but this is like the best deep or uh, leave-in conditioner when i'm just wearing my hair like in an afro or in a bun it moisturizes so well um so yeah i'm gonna put a little bit of this and then i'm also going to use their gel which i don't like the gel don't suggest it if you're like using it to really slick down your hair um, but I'm not trying to do anything you know too major with my hair it's just so fluffy I'm actually tempted to just wear it like this I'm gonna go grab a salad for lunch and get a protein shake since I worked out because um, I'm pretty hungry Here's my salad, kind of like a twist on a Greek salad. I added sweet potatoes to it, but it comes with pita chips and hummus and it's so good. I never had the pita chips. I went to Upbeat, never had their pita chips and wowzer, like I will get them every single time. I got it tossed in a lemon vinaigrette, got some ranch on the side. And then of course a matcha cha. This is a matcha smoothie. It's really good. Has the, some banana, I think like mango or pineapple. And today I featured matcha for my birthday. So it's on the site right now. Go check it out. It's also included in the birthday box. Um, your first week will include three items and matcha is one of them. So Yes, go grab your birthday box if you haven't already. Girl, eat healthy. This is a huge salad, but I'm about to devour it. Decided to come out on my lovely balcony and talk Brandon Blackwood. So if you're active on social media, you know Brandon Blackwood was trending on Twitter. This is a black luxury handbag designer. 
and I've purchased from him recently for the first time I bought four bags on my first order and I just wanted to really give you guys my two cent on what's going on there's been a lot said about the quality of his bags the customer service um, there is some situation with a model that you know he had no direct I guess contact with or dealings or business with but um, it was more so like through a production company but anyway I just wanted to say a few things since I am a black business owner myself so first things first I definitely believe that black businesses are not extended the same grace as other companies for some reason we are under this microscope and yeah it's not fair but you know we get into business knowing this and I think that we learn pretty quickly that people are bold and rude and do not care that we are regular people and humans that are trying to run businesses just like everybody else you know just like your targets and Amazon we are literally doing our best it's definitely unfortunate that consumers run to social media as their first outlet instead of contacting us and actually being patient and waiting for a response if you watch my lives you definitely know that it's challenging to navigate not only just being an entrepreneur but also being an entrepreneur in the black business space because we are just like under scrutiny and people literally hold us to somewhat of an unrealistic standard like we're not new at this too I started my business a little over a year ago and within like three months of starting my business the pandemic started so these were things that I didn't expect and as a new business owner I had no idea how to navigate um, and there's just things that you're going to run into as a business owner even without a pandemic I wanted to make sure I address this in the vlog today because it is so important that we continue to support black business and actually give people a chance and even if you have to give them one chance and they mess up give them another chance like y'all we are all out here learning and honestly a lot of people that are purchasing from black businesses and watching you know influencers even though you are supporting us you're not in the same space so it's like if you're a nurse or a doctor and you work at a hospital your environment is completely different your struggles are completely different from those of an entrepreneur or those of an influencer so I think it's just really important to extend grace like I cannot say this enough y'all support black business I personally love my bags I want to show you guys them so this is um, I ordered the ESR the launch he had in April I think it was and these were pre-order bags I talk about pre-orders on my channel so much and literally like this is a prime example of I, I know I'm not the only business owner that struggles with this with consumers because people do not read when I tell you that Brandon Blackwood came out with the ESR like did the final ESR release in April and said the bags will not ship until the end of May and within a week he was on his Instagram posting and answering you know people's comments and stories and DMs because everyone's like where's my bag where's my bag where it literally says pre-order will ship at the end of May and some people were receiving their bags you know in April at the beginning of May and it makes sense like if you ordered maybe super super early within a minute or you know they're processing orders a certain way or maybe they have one color that they already had like on hand to go ahead and start shipping you're going to get it as soon as possible right but even still even though you see the a person getting the same bag as you that does not mean that you should be getting your bag too like you when you purchased a product and it says pre-order you agreed to wait without complaint without running to social media until your order arrives you know in accord with the pre-order date and i've experienced this with my business people sending like disrespectful okay emails um running the social media this is on youtube this is dms comments all types of stuff and it's like please read just please read like reading is fundamental and also try to reach out to companies before you run to social media I understand social media is an outlet and you feel bold and empowered because no one really knows who you are behind a screen right but just to be real it's completely wrong for you to run to social media 
about a business or professional issue before even trying to handle it with the company or business owner and you also have to be patient okay you may not be the only one that has a question suggestion or concern so again it is not right for you to send an email i have so many people that say well i sent an email and i haven't gotten a response so i'm like well who is this person i personally go to my emails and literally the person send an email three minutes prior to making the comment okay give companies especially black businesses a chance to actually respond to your email you have to realize a lot of us are small small teams like i'm not talking small like 20 i'm talking small like three okay five six like we are very small teams with large volumes and especially with e-commerce sales like just skyrocketing due to the pandemic and then people supporting black businesses more there's more demand sales have increased it's just like unknown territory for us okay so extend grace now as far as the quality of the brandon blackwood bags i didn't experience any issues two of them i actually have not even taken out the bag yet so i'm gonna go ahead and do that on camera but this one i've worn a few times i love it this is like the beige or tan i don't know what he calls it but this is the esr toe and it's a canvas um i think it's just so casual it goes with everything i love that it has a strap so it's just super cute if it's both of my phones you know lip gloss keys pen business cards all that jazz love this bag i actually have it like this because it was at my entryway like on my little coat hangers i've worn this one a few times i actually purchased this bag to pass down to my future daughter okay so this is the lavender or lilac bag i've worn it three times and it does have a stain on it but that's totally my fault i don't recall actually it has a few so it does stain pretty easily however i read or saw somewhere that you can throw them in a wash machine i don't know if i'm gonna do that but um i also don't mind that it stains like i plan on keeping this in the bag until i pass it down i think i wore it twice um it does have silver hardware i think it's super cute it's definitely like you can color block with it you know it's like a little statement piece and i like i said the stains totally my fault but the actual bag itself is great like it's it's bomb i mean i put it in a reel and everything on my instagram so let's go ahead and put this back in here and then oh actually no i think i'm gonna put these in my thumbnail i also got the denim wax i believe it's called bag and girl the material of this one it is so nice i love it like literally it's wax like it, it literally feels oh it i can't even explain it like you definitely if there's another one of these available like this same material i know the esr is completely sold out but um if there's a brandon blackwood bag if you're interested in purchasing and you see this like finish or material available definitely get it it's such high quality oh it feels so good and i love that it's gold hardware i know that brandon was talking about making more bags with gold hardware because of all the requests he was getting so this is bomb i cannot wait to do like you know jeans with a cute white top in this bag um i have a dress as well that i know would go really nicely with this bag it's so so cute love that for me and last but not least i decided to purchase a quality <laughs> uh little esr toe as well i love this color this is literally my brand's color it also has gold hardware which is my brand accent color as well so you guys will be seeing a lot of this bag in the vlogs this month you know what i did not even realize this i'm just now seeing this but the bags is well made okay let me let me also mention on twitter a lot of people were like it's not giving luxury this that and the other girl this bag was 85 dollars. okay this is not a chanel bag <laughs> like y'all are expecting chanel quality with canal street pricing like i don't understand like what are people expecting i think that this is a great quality bag for the price like it's cute I don't know where I can find another bag this color. I don't know where I can get two different, you know, materials in one bag with a cute strap. Like, I didn't even realize this, but the outside of the bag is satin, right? 
but then like these inner pockets are a leather and it's kind of like a different color green so it's giving two-tone which i really like that um the strap also is like the green leather so it's kind of like a teal quality green on the outside the satin and then you're getting a more true green leather i didn't even know that it was like this i don't know if it was supposed to be like this but um this is definitely bomb i guess it is supposed to be like this because the lilac lavender is just like that too it's leather on the inside i didn't even realize that when i carried it but yeah i love my little bags y'all okay we're talking affordable black luxury and y'all have to understand what black luxury means okay we're creating our own type of luxury okay where we can all afford it where it's something different it's quality like it's not what you're used to luxury you know where it's not chanel like you you can't expect that because we're creating our own category of luxury i definitely would say support brandon blackwood be nice okay extend a grace to all black businesses and if you all have any questions suggestions comments for me please send an email <laughs> please send an email i mean leave a comment if you think it's appropriate but i just i i just hope you guys can understand that entrepreneurs are regular people just like you even though we own businesses and we have platforms and you know you may see us every single day multiple times a day on social media it broke my heart to see that brandon was recovering from surgery and he's trending because of people not extending grace having no idea what's going on in his personal life and you know there's things that i have personally dealt with since i've opened my business and it's just like y'all don't even know the half like the types of illnesses and things that i have endured but these orders still have to be packed i know this and i expect you guys to hold me to a high standard but i also expect you to extend some grace so i thank you all so much for all of the support go support all black businesses if you all have any black businesses to share make sure you leave those down in the comments for us and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog so i can get this up thank you guys so much for watching today i will catch you in the next video bye